Hey guys, and it's official. The most bezel-less phone of 2018 is finally here. The incredible Vivo Next phone. The flagship phone from Vivo, it was just announced today officially in China and it has shocked the hell out of the Notch army with the ultra full view display. It's the public version of the prototype phone, the Vivo Apex, although it's not quite that bezel-less since there's a small chin, but with a really, really small top bezel, giving it a whopping 91.2% screen-to-body ratio, which is incredible. Thanks to the high screen-to-body ratio, the Vivo Next packs a 6.59-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. They ditched the standard earpiece and went with the screen sound casting technology, which turns the entire screen into a freaking speaker. The top bezel is said to be at 2.16 mm thick, with the bottom bezel coming in at 5.08 mm, and the side bezels are coming at 1.71 mm. The Next also features a third generation in display fingerprint scanner, and according to Vivo, the new sensor is about 50% faster with better recognition accuracy and a broader detection of the finger area with overall 10% faster unlock speed compared to the previous fingerprint sensor solution. Now as far as the back of the phone is concerned, it's having a gloss back with holographic diffraction dynamic color illusion technology which pretty much gives the back of the device a dreamy sci-fi effect. The Next has a pop-up front camera as well so when you launch the front camera, it takes like a second and pop right from the top. According to Vivo, the different ICs that they've implemented allows the camera to elevate with absolute precision and it can withstand up to 45 kg of thrust force, meaning it won't break if you drop your phone. Under the hood, the Next is powered by a Snapdragon 845 processor with 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabyte of internal storage. There's also a 256 gigabyte model as well. You also get a 4000 mAh battery, a 4000 mAh battery with this incredible design. It's amazing. I mean, Samsung, you must have to deliver 4000 mAh battery with the Note 9, otherwise it's just, I don't know what to say, like 4000 mAh battery, if they can put that in this amazing design, then Samsung can definitely do it with their big Note 9. So, talking about the cameras, we got dual 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel cameras at the back with optical image stabilization, and the phone runs the FunTouch OS 4.0 based on Android 8.1 Oreo, which is like the least favorite part of this phone since I don't really enjoy their UI and their software somehow blocks the installation of the launcher. So, I mean, you have to use their own uh, OS as far as I've seen on the current Vivo phones such as the Vivo X21. And unlike the Mi Mix 2, the Vivo Next comes with a headphone jack. Take a look at this Apple, Google, or whatever other company that got rid of the headphone jack. You don't really have to do it. Even with this crazy design, this phone is still coming with a headphone jack. Software-wise, it does come with its own voice assistant known as Jovi. It's very similar to the Bixby. It can carry out your usual AI task and you can also recognize objects and the camera on the new uh, Vivo Next will also going to take the advantage of the AI assisted and the camera on the Next will also going to take advantage of the AI assisted scene recognition, HDR filters and photo composition. Now the base variant of the Next is coming with the brand new Snapdragon 710 processor along with 6 slash 8 gigabyte RAM models. This base model will going to cost $610 while the Snapdragon 845 model is set to cost $700 for 128GB and $780 for 256GB model and they are in China right now. All these models are currently exclusive to China. There is no talk of global release yet but considering the popularity, there's a huge chance that one of these variant will come to other market as well, especially India where they recently launched the Vivo X21 phone. So now I know we troll Vivo a lot for their Apple iPhone looking phones like Vivo V9, the Vivo X21, but I have mad respect for them. Like they did what others couldn't do. They didn't lie to us like Lenovo did with Z5, which by the way has been sold out in like five minutes on an online Chinese store. Like what the flip? Anyways, this thing is way better than that as promised. As promised, they have probably delivered the best bezel-less phone of 2018 so far and I'm glad that we have no notch. So thank you so much for watching this video. The Vivo Next is looking pretty incredible overall specs wise and it's feature wise. I'm pretty impressed. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.